Hello and welcome to Songs and Stories. Today is July 4th, Independence Day. And while it's not a church holiday, we do celebrate in a small fashion because this holiday is about our freedom, about our beautiful country and all that God created here in America. So let's sing the song, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies. Hello friends, I have a story for you today. When God sent the Holy Spirit to his disciples at Pentecost, they were given the boldness that they needed to tell people about the kingdom of God and to call people to follow Jesus. The book of Acts is just filled with amazing stories about the disciples doing that, teaching and healing people everywhere the Spirit led them. And I want to tell you one of those stories today. This one is about Philip. Philip had been teaching and healing people in a land called Samaria when all of a sudden an angel from the Lord spoke to him and said, at noon today, leave this place and head down the road that leads from Gaza to Jerusalem. And so he did. He started walking. I wonder if he had any idea what was going to happen. Meanwhile, a man from Ethiopia, a country in Africa, was on his way home from Jerusalem, where he had come to worship. He was a very important official. He was in charge of the Ethiopian queen's treasury. As he was riding home in his fancy chariot, he was reading a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. That book is in our Bible, too. Philip spotted the chariot coming, and the spirit whispered to him, Go talk to him. So Philip started running. He ran alongside the carriage. I wonder if he felt silly trying to keep up. I wonder if he felt nervous and wasn't sure what to say. I wonder if he was surprised when he noticed that the Ethiopian man was reading Hebrew scripture. Philip said, do you understand what you're reading? No, I don't. I need a teacher to guide me through this. Who is the author talking about? Philip climbed up into the seat next to him and began to explain. Starting with that passage, Philip told the man from Ethiopia all about Jesus, how he had been sent from God to show them God's love, and how even though some people had killed him, God had made Jesus alive again. Philip told him the good news, that God's love was so strong, not even death could stop it, and that God's love was for everyone, not just a special group. They talked and talked as they traveled down the road. Pretty soon, they came to some water, and the official ordered his chariot to stop. Look, here's some water. Is there anything that would prevent me from being baptized right here? He and Philip climbed down and waded into the water where Philip baptized him. 
and the man went on his way rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. I wonder what happened to that man. The Bible doesn't tell us any more about him. Maybe he went home and told other people the same good news that Philip had told him. Maybe he told the queen. I wonder how Philip felt as he walked away from that encounter. I wonder if he was glad he had listened to the Spirit. I wonder how we might hear the Spirit of God whispering to us this week. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Hello, everyone. Well, thank you, Miss Peggy, for sharing that song. And thank you, Miss Lindley, for sharing your story. They were both lovely. And now, let's pray. Don't forget, we're going to use Miss Lindley's symbol for Amen. All right. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. For friends and family, work and play. Thanks for love that we can share with our neighbors everywhere. Amen. Well, have a good week and have a happy Independence Day.